to study number 23 in the book of Numbers and today we are going to cover chapter number 31 of Numbers and attempt to answer a couple of different questions. First one being this. This is another of those difficult passages unless you bear some things in mind. A. That it records only the bare outline of an even of something even far greater in scope. B that it is recorded from a particular standpoint, that being the Midianite account was probably quite different uh, from this one of the Israelites, and C, that its message concerns a God of love who must purge evil of evil everything that is his, and what are the forms of purging found then in this account, and in what directions ought a Christian to act with comparable severity. And secondly, what does the chapter teach about sharing and giving? And on what grounds were portions given to the priests and the Levites? Now let's look at Numbers chapter number 31. Begin reading in the first verse. The Lord said to Moses, Take vengeance on the Midianites for the Israelites. After that you will be gathered to your people. So Moses said to the people, Arm some of your men to go to war against the Midianites and to carry out the Lord's vengeance on them. Send into battle a thousand men from each of the tribes of Israel. So twelve thousand men armed for battle, a thousand from each tribe, were supplied from the clans of Israel. And Moses sent them into battle, a thousand from each tribe, along with Phinehas, son of Eleazar, the priest, who took with him articles from the sanctuary and the trumpets for signaling. They fought against Midian, as the Lord commanded Moses, and killed every man. Among their victims was Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, the five kings of Midian. They also killed Balaam, son of Beor, with the sword. The Israelites captured the Midianite women and children and took all the Midianite herds, flocks, and goods as plunder. They burned all the towns where the Midianites had settled as well as all their camps, and they took all the plunder and spoils, including the people and animals, and brought the captives, spoils, and plunder to Moses and Eleazar the priest and the Israelite assembly at their camp at the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. And Moses, Eleazar, the priests, and all the leaders of the community went to meet them outside the camp. And Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands, and the commanders of hundreds who returned from the battle. Have you allowed all the women to live? he asked them. They were the ones who followed ba Balaam's advice and were the means of turning the Israelites away from the Lord in what happened at Peor, so that I, a plague struck the Lord's people. Now kill all the boys, and kill every woman who has slept with a man, but save for yourself every girl who has never slept with a man. And all of you have killed anyone or touched anyone who has killed must stay outside, or anyone who has, was killed must stay outside the camp seven days. And on the third and seventh days you must purify yourself and your captives. Purify every garment as well as everything made of leather, goat hair, or wood. Then Eleazar the priest said to the soldiers who had gone into battle, This is the requirement of the law that the Lord gave Moses, gold, silver, bronze, iron, tin, lead, and anything else that can withstand fire must be put through the fire, and then it will be clean, but it must also be purified with water of cleansing, and whatever cannot withstand fire must be put through that water, and on the seventh day wash your clothes and you will be clean, then you may come into the camp. The Lord said to Moses, You and Eleazar the priest and the family heads of the community are to count all the people and animals that were captured and divide the spoils between the soldiers who took part in the battle and the rest of the community. From the soldiers who fought in the battle set apart as a tribute for the Lord, one out of every five hundred, whether persons, cattle, donkeys, sheep, or goats, and take this tribute from their half share and give it to Eleazar the priest as the Lord's part. From the Israelites' half, select one out of every fifty, whether person, cattle, donkey, sheep, goats, or other animals, and give them to the Levites, who are responsible for the care of the Lord's tabernacle. So Moses and Eleazar the priest did the Lord commanded. The plunder remaining from the spoils that the soldiers took was 675,000 sheep, 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. The half share of those who fought in the battle was 337,500 sheep, of which the tribute to the Lord was 675, 36,000 cattle, of which the tribute to the Lord was 72, 30,500 donkeys, of which the tribute for the Lord was 61, 16,000 people, of which the tribute to the Lord was 32. And Moses gave the tribute to Eleazar the priest as the Lord's part, as the Lord commanded Moses, the half belonging to the Israelites, which Moses set apart 
from that of the fighting men, the community's half, was the same, of course, as the half for the men. Verse 47, from the Israelites' half, Moses selected one out of every fifty persons and animals as the Lord commanded him and gave them to the Levites, who were responsible for the care of the Lord's tabernacle. Then the officers who were over the units of the army, the commanders of thousands, the commanders of hundreds, went to Moses and said to him, Your servants have counted the soldiers under our command, and not one is missing, so we have brought us an offering to the Lord, the gold articles each of us acquired, armlets, bracelets, signet rings, earrings, and necklaces, to make atonement for ourselves before the Lord. Moses and Eleazar the priests accepted from them the gold, all the crafted articles, all the gold from the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds that Moses and Eleazar presented as a gift to the Lord weighed 16,750 shekels, and each soldier had taken plunder for himself. And Moses and Eleazar the priests accepted the gold from the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds and brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord. Question 1. This is another difficult passage, unless you bear some things in mind. It records only the bare outline of something even greater in scope, that it was recorded from a particular standpoint, and that its message concerns a God who, of love who must purge of evil everything that is his. What are the forms of purging found in this account, and what directions, uh, what directions ought a Christian to act with comparable severity? Well, the Lord's actions in this passage seem to be particularly brutal, yet uh, as we've given, uh, as we've gone through the, the study in Numbers, I've given a great deal of thought to our own uh, system of justice. Our system uh, flat out does, uh, doesn't work. Over 70% of prisoners return to prison after they're released. Uh, our sentencing structure makes little to no sense. It almost never accomplishes any rehabilitation whatsoever. And all this leaves us with a society that grows perpetually worse and suffers the consequences for it from generation to generation. Uh, the harshness of God, viewed in light, I think, of our present system, is actually um, a more compassionate road. And calling for the death of the women, God was getting to the very root of the problem. And calling for the death of the boys, God was eliminating a future problem or a future threat due to the the undoubted feelings of bitterness and hatred that would arise within them from the execution uh, of their mothers. Uh, we will never deal with sin in the way that God deals with it, and we will therefore never be free uh, from its effects. Uh, in this account, God purged or cleansed everything from animals to metal to leather uh, goods. He cleansed everything. Uh, there is no area of our lives in which the Lord does not want us to have a controlling influence. Second question, what does the chapter teach about sharing and giving, and on what grounds were portions given to the priests and Levites? Well, we all have our roles to play in society and in church life, and while we will not always participate in the same way, we are all entitled to a portion of the spoils uh, based on our faithfulness to the role that God has called us to fulfill. The Levites and the priests could not participate in the fighting, yet they were faithful to the role that God had assigned them. And uh, as each part of the body is faithful to its task, then the whole body is going to benefit. Uh, I hope you're being faithful to the task that God has called you to do. And as you are faithful, I am certain that you will reap the benefits of having been faithful. I hope this study in the book of Numbers has been a blessing to you today. God bless and have a fantastic rest of your day.